We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the New York Yankees and the St. Louis Cardinals. Interleague Baseball, next. Dakota Hudson will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Here's Brett Gardner now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. The right number 99. Aaron Good. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. That is first. The football. Labor. Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And now pitch on the way. to first and can you believe it a three pitch inning and just like that the side is retired one two three go the Bombers now the Cardinals will see what they can do no score Masahiro Tanaka is on the mound for game two Dan any thoughts hey this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down both righties and lefties coming into this one hitting under 250 against this guy he's been good all season long here's the second baseman Colton Wong it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first the, for the, Cardinals, the second baseman Colton Wong. now here's the pitch first pitch hacking here and that's the first strike and as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come into this one off a loss that finally snapped what was a long, long winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Line towards center field. Gardner is right there. One down. Batting center. The right field. Dexter. Fowler. Standing in, Dexter Fowler. He'll swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He'll give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's That's umpire fair. than a hitter's umpire. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Digging in, Paul Goldschmidt. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and
A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. Here's Matt Carpenter, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one, no play. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Goldschmidt stands at second with two gone. Body jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. New inning set to get underway. And now it'll be the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. in front of that one but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one the 1 0 home is taken for ball two pitching isn't always about getting everyone out Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2-1. One is taken for a ball as that slider broke off the plate. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. 29 home runs for him on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do? And he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. The second baseman. Tyler. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. O'Neill comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. 
batting seven. The first baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 1. Yankees lead this 1 to nothing here in inning number 2. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. The one two hit on the ground out to short. De Young's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now one nothing New York. Paul DeYoung digs in next. He'll be the one to lead off against Masahira Tanaka. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. This at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. One ball. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Ready on one and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That is good. Yanni Molina digging in now. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Now the pitch. Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. Bases are empty, one man out. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there are two away now. That is better. No left fielder. Tyler. Oh, dear. Now batting, Tyler O'Neill will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. O'Neill is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Yankees lead it one to nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. When it comes to their team ERA, they enter the day with one of the best in the league. And talking with some of the pitchers earlier, they mentioned how they've all been able to inspire each other this year. 
One said, every one of these guys seems to bring their best to the mound every single day. So that really motivates me to do the same. We hold each other to a pretty high standard and that works for us. Clearly it's a group that takes a ton of pride in what they do, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Miguel and Duhar. Here comes the first pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. You know, you think it's an eight-hole hitter right there. You shouldn't be taking that fastball, and you're right. But when you got the pitcher hitting behind you, you sometimes sit off speed because that's the pitch you're usually going to get. The pitcher does not want to get beat by you, and he's not afraid to walk you and hand it over to an A-B against the pitcher. So it was a swinging strike three. Miguel Andujar becomes the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Masahiro Tanaka. First pitch on its way. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Now a slider down the middle but laid off. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is popped up. DeYoung is under it. Two down. The center field number 11. Red. Gardner. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead. At the plate, Lane Thomas. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Right side. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season and as you can see there he currently leads the AL in that department into the box now Dakota Hudson he'll get to take his first cuts here now the pitch. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is there and he makes the catch for the out. Up next to the party, the second baseman, Colton. Digging in for his second at bat, Colton Wong. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh. Kind of surprised not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. Now the 1 0. 
Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. 3 and 0 oh now. Dexter Fowler would be next. The 3 0 -oh pitch. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. The bat, the right fielder, Dexter. So coming to the plate, Dexter Fowler. Man at first after the two out walk. the stretch yep, that ball went out. this is where you got to take stock in the situation adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first if nothing less pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving clearly off with his timing on that one a swinging strike two out with the man at first Unable to find the zone with the slider. Hey. Two and two. Line drive to center field. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Cards leave one. They're down one nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron. First pitch coming. Here it is. Wind up and the 0 1. And the dirt, but swung on and missed. Molina gathers. And the throw is in time. Judge is retired, and there's one away. All right, so time now for the Cardinals' road to the show report as we see a pair of prospects performing at a high level in the upper minors. Into the box now, Torres. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up Two in the ball. zone like that, it could work for him. Two balls and a strike now. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Full count now, three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Payoff pitch home. Oh, 
And he Three. looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You now can't that. spot a sinker in a better location because Gary. even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. The 1 1. It's taken for strike two. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And go. set to go Four is the Bruce. veteran first baseman, first Paul baseman. Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Now the pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he fouls this one off. And he popped him up. And Duhar onto the grass. He can't get there as it falls in. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, Dero, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. Judge is on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The catcher number four, Yadier Riding in once again, Yadier Molina. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Eight. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, one and one. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it right there. Now Hammer back. job. So now to the plate, Tyler O'Neill. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try.
comes set. The 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gardner's after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Cards strand a couple. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Giancarlo Stanton now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Check swing called strike 0-1. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. A one one. Hit to first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The batter number 14, second base, Tyler Wade. Digging in, Tyler Wade. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Popped him up. Wong is under this one. And that's out number two. Now batting the first baseman, DJ LeMahieu. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in DJ LeMahieu. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. That's inside. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. The 1-0. New ball. Nope. Right. Non-competitive pitch right there. Runs the count to 2-0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Now here it comes. Outside, 3-0 now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swinging away there, it's 3-1. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. In the air to straightaway center field. Thomas makes the catch, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Lane Thomas. The center fielder. First offering on its way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Gardner on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So here now is the pitcher, Dakota Hudson. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. 
electrical. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And it's fouled away. The 1 1. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. Pitch on the way. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Now a ball hit hard toward first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. the delivery. Dexter Fowler is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. One, one ball, no strikes. Bounce towards the second baseman. Reined in. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals. They trail this one 1-0. One Digging in to try it again. Miguel Andujar looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters sent toward first but no problem at first and that's the first out the pitcher number 19 Masahiro Tanaka striding into the box Masahiro Tanaka he popped out in his first trip yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat look for him to stay a little it's taller nice. and keep that upper half a little bit more over him Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. To the left side, but it's well foul. One out, nobody on. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Now the 2-1 pitch. 
Swung on and missed for strike number two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Brett Gardner is on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Digging in once again, Brett Gardner. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set and the pitch. That's the ball. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. Fouled off. Look into Molina. Now the 1 1. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The white field, number 99, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Standing in now, Torres. As he'll take a look at a sinker here. Too low for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One and 0. Here it is. Now it's 2 and 0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Fly ball out to right field. Fowler has a read on it. And that's the third out. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. And the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals first baseman. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. The 1-1. One, one. 
hit the other way out toward right field. Heading after it is Judge. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Matt Carpenter. He singled his last time up. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. Oh, and one here it comes. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Stepping in now, Paul DeYoung. This will go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field. And that's going to get down for a base hit. The batter, the catcher, Yadier Molina. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's one for two in this one. Now the 1 0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. A runner on first with two away. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Cards leave one. It remains one nothing. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this Gary. one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. A swing by Sanchez, and this one's soaring out into left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Boy, d -roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Nobody out, runner on first. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. The 2 0. 3 and 0 now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the 3 0 offering. A swing and a miss, strike one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. 
the three and one pitch. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. The 3 2 pitch. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Thomas is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Up next to the Yankees, the second baseman, Tyler Wayne. Ready for another shot now. Tyler Wayne. No hits to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Steal. And there he goes towards second. There's a bouncer foul to the left of the plate. One and one. Runners on first with one down. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. From the stretch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. The 2 2. There's a shot out to right center field. Sanchez rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to two. Boy, I tell you what, that's a big RBI late in the game here. They take a 2 0 lead, D Rowe. The way the pitching's been for them tonight, they're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Dan, they've gotten great pitching all game long. And all that extra run can do is give you a little bit more confidence. You don't have to pitch with such tension out there, fearful of making one mistake. There's the St. Louis manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll wind up going six and a third and he's kept his club in it to this point though he cannot win the ball game. John Brebbia comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. A man at third with one away. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now. Great situation to be up at the plate right now. But if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. The 2 0 on the way.
And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. He'll run this down in foul territory, and here comes the runner from third. And he is safe at the plate, and the lead is now three to nothing. Hey, now every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. So striding forward now, Miguel Andujar. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch on its way. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And Goldschmidt will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Yankees three, and the Cardinals nothing. Last half of the seventh here, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Tyler O'Neill. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. Is looked at for the first strike. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. Now the 2-1. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. hit hard on the ground to second. He's right there. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. The center fielder, number 25. Way. Thomas. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Lane Thomas. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings, and his first pitch strike percentage, less than 50%. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. One out, nobody on. to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out the pitcher number 60 John Rebia. Tommy Edmond will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here number 19 Tommy Edmund. lifted down the line and left Stanton on the run and they can't run it down the slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Off 
All even now, two and two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals. They trail it here three to nothing. Number 62 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. For the Cardinals. Number 62. Gio Urshela is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. in there for strike one and he comes in as a player to watch out for hitting well over 300 on the season. Now that ball's hit well deep down the left field line headed toward the foul pole but that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall and the Yankees are in business here it's a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in a game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. In now, Brett Gardner, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set to deliver the 0-1. One. One one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ball two. You got two balls, one strike. Outside, that's the ball. Aaron Judge is on deck. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's the payoff pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The bat, the right field, Aaron. Good. So it's first and second now. Nobody out, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. From the belt, kicks and deals. One and oh. Hits are even right now at five aside. Two and oh now. No, no well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting. I'm looking for something I could get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2-0 home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. None out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The 2-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. 
It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. To the plate now, Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing changeup. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Runners are at first and second with one away. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. And a cut fastball comes in a bit tight. It's ball four. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. So digging in now, Gary Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Wong for one. On to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Chad Green will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 57, Chad Green. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that will bring in the second baseman, Colton Wong. Here's the first pitch to him. Green is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. Green has over 40 innings on his line so far. And over those innings, he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3. So he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base paths. Yeah. And that's in there. 3 and 1. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack. 
but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He's hitless coming into this at-bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Outside. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. one. Ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, he'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for round number one. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball and that brings up Paul Goldschmidt and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball one and oh it was a fly out for him in his last trip Line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled the with just the one out. Matt Carpenter. The next to bat for St. Louis, Matt Carpenter. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Ball, that's out. He yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. One one home. Nope. Three ball, one strike. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a three one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. From the stretch. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. And Carpenter will reach as that misses for ball four. 
Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just now missed, and now the inning continues stop. with the man in scoring position. DeYoung. Stepping in, Paul DeYoung. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. First pitch on its way. Hard liner to center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Cards strand a couple. Still down 3 nothing. Alex Reyes enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping up now, Giancarlo Stanton. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Hit hard down the line, and that finds its way through for a base hit. It's a great job right there to get a leadoff knock. You got the lead, you have a chance to add on in the later innings. Leadoff guy getting on sets the tone. Into the box, Tyler Wade as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And this is taken in by Fowler for the first out. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. Digging in, D.J. LeMahieu, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. The going, one oh home. Runners on the move for second. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there getting the ball in is going to wind up costing him. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
Full count now. Three and two. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called to strike. That's one of those that could go either way. Swing and a liner. The next three, two. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Luke Voigt. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Luke Voigt. in there for strike one zero oh, and one looking at his career totals Voigt is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500 obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat that's over but low it's a ball and a strike well that's not where he wanted that curveball it kind of backed up and stayed in that could be effective sometimes but it usually doesn't have the same hard bite. And he fouls this one off. First and second now, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. At the plate now, Brett Gardner popped him up. Goldschmidt over to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. Last chance coming up here for the Redbirds. It's now a 4-0 New York lead. Your ben Heller, the right-handed reliever now standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Ben Heller. Stepping into the box, Yadier Molina. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Now the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The one-one. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher, and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Matty V, what a nice performance in this one. Seven shutout innings watching from the dugout now. Hard to believe that he could pitch any better than he did through the first seven innings. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill. And it's fouled away. Heller has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. Dan Sports and ERA right around the Major League average at just over four. Now the 0-1. 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball. One one, a fastball high, two and one now. Heller. A right-hander standing six foot three. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And it's two balls and two strikes now. <laughs> Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Lane Thomas. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Justin Turner will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Oh, one pitch low with a fastball here in the dirt even it's ball one you know in this situation you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base that run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got the hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head he's set here comes the one one man I'm interested to see this next pitch three balls pounded on the inside half of the plate he either has no respect for this hitter or he's setting him up to go down and away. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Lifted down the line in left. On the move is Stanton. And no one will track it down. inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment fouled off Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Looped out toward third. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. 4 nothing. the score tonight. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Masahiro Tanaka wins a league-high 16th decision.
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.